every volcano has a story. The cone and lava flows we see on the surface of Earth are actually fed by magma coming from great depth. So how can we get that information from great depth and high temperatures? Well, we can interrogate the witnesses of those processes. And those witnesses are the crystals that form in the deep magma plumping system and are transported with the erupting magmas to the Earth's surface. These magmas are going to cool down in contact with the atmosphere and they're going to solidify as volcanic rocks, where we can already see that we have crystals like these shiny black ones. Okay, so how are we going to interrogate those little crystals? Well, first of all, we need to prepare a very thin slice of rock, like the one we have here, so that we can have a look at it through the microscope. Only then we will realize how these crystals are formed by zones. They grow normally from the center outwards, creating different growth zones. And those growth zones are going to record the history of processes taking place in the magmatic system as they grow. A particularly powerful source of information is the chemical composition of those successive growth zones. What we have developed here in geology at Trinity College with funding from SFI is a method to remove a thin layer of, from those crystals with a laser similar to the ones we use for eye surgery and analyze that with a mass spectrometer to get the chemical composition and visualize it so that we can get an image of the distribution of chemical elements in the crystal. In the example we see here, we can see that there is a zone which is particularly enriched in certain chemical elements. That tells us that there was an injection of fresh new magma into the, the deep magmatic system. And that possibly was the cause that triggered the volcanic eruption. These injections of new magma into deep magmatic systems are often causing seismic activity. And that we can record today. So with our optimized laser method, we can interrogate crystals coming from different volcanoes in the world and unveil their history of processes and see if those injections of new magma were actually responsible for triggering eruptions in the past or not and therefore be able to better predict how volcanoes are going to behave in the future.